personal life journey, Atlanta, Georgia. My son went to chiropractic school in Atlanta, Georgia, and um, at Life University. What a fantastic town. He really enjoyed his four years there. He met his wife there. Uh, I've got a chance to tour your town. Fantastic. Atlanta, Georgia, personal life journey. That was part of his journey. You've got a fantastic place there. But early in the days, it would be mistake colossal for me not to say these next words. Keep a journal. When Mona and I were first married and had our first child and we had close friends of ours and they would, they were a little older than us, they would counsel us all the time and they'd babysit our, our kid. They were just that kind of friend and Lonnie would give me those man-to-man -man talks. Anyhow, when he did that, he would always say, how's your journal coming? Now, he was part of the Mormon Church, the Latter-day Saints. And I said, Lonnie, you really believe in a journal. Why? He says the elders of the of the church through the history or the leaders um, have said keep a journal. They 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 just really believe in the wisdom of it. So I kept a journal for two years. What a wonderful time that I can recall. It's in writing. You know when you look back at your family or your genealogy, wouldn't it be nice if somebody actually kept a journal, actually wrote something down in writing, actually took a picture, or just guessing what they were like, so you can learn about your past. That's for you. Now that I'm about 50 years old, and um, uh, I really need personal development. I've been married 31 years. I have grandkids. I really need to, to be the leader they want me to be. So uh, I've been listening to a lot of Jim Rohn and Zig Ziglar and that, and Brian Tracy. Anyhow, Jim Rohn, 40 some years, been doing success philosophy uh, teaching. Jim Rohn, keep a journal. And uh, he also says, capture your moments with a camera. A picture's worth a thousand words. Personal life journey, Atlanta, Georgia, whether you live there or however long you're there, what a great part. Keep a journal and go to this uh, daily mindset if you want to success philosophers. My son, he's a, now he's a chiropractor in Charlotte, North Carolina, him and his wife. Um, he said, I just started listening to Jim Rohn again, but I've got to turn on to this web page here, this dailymindset.com. I'm an affiliate. Go to this if you want. It's so exciting. If you're into personal development like I am, you've got 33 of the greatest philosophers that ever lived on this one website at discounts. Hey, thanks. Bye.